Hi there, I'm Chris from Animojo. A few of our users have wrote in saying they've had trouble using our Lightroom export plugin in Lightroom version 2, so we thought we'd make this quick screencast demonstrating how to go about using it. So, first of all, I've got Lightroom 2 open and I'm going to add my plugin. Go to the File menu, select Plugin Manager, and then click Add. Now I've saved the plugin to my desktop, so I'm just going to go and find that. Um, once I select it, I just click Add Plugin, and it's added to Lightroom. It'll say Animoto is installed and running. Now, one thing that Lightroom doesn't do is it doesn't copy this plugin anywhere. So, if you delete that file from your disk, then the plugin will no longer be installed. So, you may want to copy it somewhere. Um, such as the Lightroom Plugins folder, um, which you'll find within the Lightroom directory, or to your Documents folder before you do this. So, okay, the plugin is installed. I'm just going to go ahead and click Done. Now, I've got a few photos here in Lightroom that I want to export to Animoto. I'll select them all, and then I'll go to File and Export. Now, this is where, for Lightroom 2 users, um, things start to get a bit different from what we have on our website. You actually need to select Animoto and in Lightroom 3 you have a nice drop down where you can do that. In Lightroom 2 it's a bit less obvious. But if you click the Files on Disk image at the top of this dialog box, you'll see an Animoto option appear. So if you select it, boom, you now have the export option to send your images off to Animoto. If you click Export, you'll see your images are being sent to Animoto. You can see the progress in the top left. And here we go. Upload complete. Your images were successfully exported. So you might be asked to log in if you're not already logged in. If you're not an Animoto user, you can sign up um, straight from here. It's free, but let me go ahead and log in. Once you've logged in, you'll be um, prompted to choose your video style. These sort of set the general theme for your video, and we have several options available depending on whether you're creating a greetings card, whether you're creating a standard video, or whether you're looking to do something more professional using some of our pro styles. If you just select a style, you'll be able to view a preview, or you can just go straight ahead and create video. Once you've chosen to create video, you can see the images that you've uploaded appearing in the workspace. You can go ahead and manipulate these, you can move them around, you can do simple editing such as rotating them, you can duplicate them, if you want to give one special attention you can spotlight, you can add text as well as other images and video clips. Once you've done that you can go ahead and click done. Next, you'll now be taken to select some music for your video, and then once you've selected something, continue, and then you can finalize your video. 